Today we're going to talk about buying gender-specific gear. What's up everybody? Welcome back to West Coast Elements. My name is Benton and today we're going to be talking about shopping as a trans guy. Specifically looking at hiking gear, backpacking gear, and the difference between men's unisex and women's equipment. The reason I wanted to talk about this today is because last week I was shopping for a new running pack. I went into the store and there was one I saw right away. It was a nice navy blue color, but then at the top of the packaging it said that it was a women's specific fit. And this is the only pack that this company makes in this navy blue color. And blue is the color that I wanted. So I did eventually end up trying on the navy blue pack. The fit wasn't quite right. It was a little bit looser in the straps and the way that the straps came down was more of an S shape and I figured that might cause some chafing when I'm running or moving around. So in this video I want to talk about why it's okay to try on women's items when you're a man and men's items if you're a woman. It never hurts to try. What if the fit is actually better? So let's get into some equipment comparisons. I've got some items here that I own in both men's and women's. This is the current running pack that I use. This is a men's fit, and as you can see, the shoulder straps come down and it's flush with my body all the way around. It's supposed to be a tight, next to skin feel. This is my partner's female running pack. Right away, you can see that the torso length of the pack is a bit shorter. These hip belts are supposed to be down on my hips about here. The shoulder straps are not flush with my body and frankly, not that comfortable for me. Now let's move on to day packs. This is the 30 liter Gregory Zulu men's backpack. I use this for more demanding day hikes that don't require any overnight equipment. This is a small medium size and you can see that the torso length is just right for my body. As you can see with the straps, coming off of my shoulders, they're flush against my chest. Moving on to the women's version of the pack, this is the Gregory Amber 28 liter day pack. Right away we can see that the hip belt is not on my hips, again because the women's pack does have a slightly shorter torso length. But the most notable difference is the shoulder straps. These straps are more contoured, kind of like in an S shape. The straps are also much shorter and narrower. And whereas many men's packs will have the straps slightly more to the middle of the chest, Women's straps will usually sit wider. However, in some cases, the only thing that makes a women's pack different from a men's pack is the capacity. So if you are looking to carry more equipment, I definitely recommend looking into the men's version. These are a pair of women's hiking shoes I recently bought for two reasons. They didn't have any men's versions in my size and the women's ones were on sale. The difference between the women's model and the men's model specifically to these shoes is the width. And these women's shoes, not that I've noticed it, but they are slightly more narrow. A really easy way to personalize your shoes is to simply change the shoelaces. These are the shoelaces that came with the shoe, and when I tried them on in store, originally didn't really suit my style. So I replaced them with black laces that are reflective, which are more functional, slightly more durable, and make me feel more comfortable wearing them. The third piece of gear I want to talk about is pants. Can you tell these are women's? For the longest time, I wanted a pair of these pants. The day came and I went to the store to go buy these pants and the smallest size that they made of the men's pants would have fit two of me inside of them. <laughs> and so it was actually the store associate who said, we do make these pants in women's. Here are a few things that are different about them, but really it doesn't matter. So A, good selling. B, she made me feel comfortable going over to the women's section and like it was okay to, to browse over there and try things on if it wasn't suiting me in the men's section. Generally, women's pants, hiking pants, casual pants will have a different fit because of the waist, but also the crotch area might be constructed and shaped and fit a little bit differently. But it is totally personal preference. Try them on and see what you actually feel more comfortable in. And the last piece of gear we're gonna talk about today is sweaters. So this is specifically the Better Sweater jacket from Patagonia, sometimes used as casual wear and other times used as a mid-layer. This is a men's extra small. If I wasn't using this outdoors and I didn't care about the weight of the jacket, I would have probably gone for a size small. So putting on the women's version of this jacket, I immediately feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Some function differences on this jacket are, instead of having the pocket on the chest, the women's version has it on the sleeve. This is a women's medium, and it fits me almost the same as the men's extra small does. I think the arms are actually slightly shorter on the women's medium, but the length down to my hips here is about the same. The biggest difference in fit, of course, is the way that it flares out at the bottom by my hips, 
and is slightly tapered here in the middle. It also doesn't help that it feels very constricted in the chest area. Like if I take a deep breath, I'll be showing too much. So overall, not a good fit for me in the women's version of this jacket. <laughs> At the end of the day, just like how those women's shoes fit me the best, maybe a women's jacket is best for you. It doesn't hurt to try. The most important part is that you are comfortable. Leave a comment down below and tell us about your favorite piece of clothing, camping equipment, hiking gear, whatever it is, and why it's comfortable for you. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below if you haven't already. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.